Welcome back to the One Chart at a Time video series. I'm your host, John Schwabish. Now, already at the beginning of this video series, we've talked about one of the most common chart types out there, the simple, elegant bar chart. And we've already talked about the standard bar chart when we pair bar charts together. And now we're going to talk about the stacked bar chart, where we take different segments, stack them on top of one another so that we can see a total, a part to some percentage, so we can make multiple comparisons. And to help us better understand how to use the stack bar chart, I'm going to turn it over to Ali Torben from the Data Viz Today podcast. Hi, I'm Ali Torben, an information design consultant in Washington, DC, and the host of the podcast Data Viz Today. Let's talk about the stacked bar chart. It's the sister of the humble bar chart, which is the go-to chart type to compare the amounts of something over different categories. Now, the stack bar chart is a regular bar chart that, but each bar is broken up into different subcategories. So you can see the total amount for the whole category, plus how the category is composed of other subcategories. And the benefit is that you can see the totals and the relative proportions all in one chart. The downside is that it can quickly become overwhelming for your reader. Your reader is going to try to compare the amounts of all the subcategories, which is hard when they're all stacked on different amounts. You lose that zero baseline. So even though this is an easy chart to make, you can easily make it in Excel or Tableau, it should be used strategically. And here are a few tips. First, don't use too many subcategories within your bar. I'd say like three or four max. And you can try to combine different subcategories into groups to simplify. Also consider using color very strategically. You might only need color to color one subcategory um, that's interesting to your reader. And if that's true, try to make that set colored subcategory the first one that's closest to your zero baseline so your reader can easily compare amounts across. So let me show you an example of my favorite stacked bar chart. This is from Pew Research and they're showing results from a survey. And the question was about government involvement in healthcare. We see a diverging bar chart showing the percentage of people who answer uh, yes or no. And it's further broken up into a stacked bar chart to give more details about the answer. You can see that each bar is broken up into only two segments and they only use color on the one segment of interest, which is the one closest to the baseline. So you can quickly scan to compare the amounts across the, all the bars and also just the colored bar. It's like having two bar charts in one. It's super clear, not overwhelming, and I think this is an excellent example of how to use a stacked bar chart. Well, I hope this was helpful, and until next time, I'm Allie Torben. Happy visiting. And thanks to Allie for that great review of the stacked bar chart. I hope you'll be able to use the stacked bar chart in your own work if you're not already doing so, but now you probably have some better tools and techniques to do so. So until tomorrow, this has been the One Chart at a Time video series. I will see you then.